Well, the World Business Council for Sustainable Development in 2010 highlighted that climate change is the major challenge that directly impacts and interacts with all the other challenges such as affordable energy and fuel, water scarcity, population growth, urbanization, food security, and so forth. And this is, uh, this is obvious with the realization of major global efforts, such as, such as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change with the social cops or the political uh, orientation. Uh, and current markets, which presumably, presumably will drive investments in the, in the right way. But regardless, to analyze and understand the risks and opportunities of these challenges of our time, need new approaches uh, to understand interconnectedness in, the, in our world. And as one of the major auditing firms uh, has defined it, we need a new systems and nexus approach to sustainability. And they define it in terms of three. The footprint nexus, which is all about the forces driving the escalating footprint of mankind on the planet. Erosion nexus, the resulting changes in the natural system on which we as society and business depends. And innovation nexus, the opportunity to address sustainable sustainability challenges through business innovation. This book is all about the footprint nexus, as the title suggests. There is no doubt that this guide, which focuses on providing practical carbon footprint guidance for a variety of companies and organizations, is very much needed in the marketplace. It is effectively an, 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 an enabler for companies and other organizations, not only to act more sustainably from an, an environmental perspective, but also to introduce cost-effective savings across their operations, resulting in improved financial sustainability too. The world is an increasingly challenging place. Companies need to do more with less, not only because of difficult economic times, but also because we live on a planet with finite resources. Responsible companies are grappling with the challenge of how to remain profitable in the short term and relevant in the long term. I've got no doubt in my mind, unless you bring yourself into the sustainability arena, you will be relevant later on in, in your life as a company or as an, as an organization. But with the impending carbon tax, companies that may not have even considered their carbon footprint will need to start doing so. This guide is going to be an invaluable support for those companies in what is rather a daunting task. Our support of the, of the guide also means that it can be made freely available to those who might want it, both in hard copy and downloadable PDF, including students that will use this guide as a prescribed textbook at the universities of Pretoria and Stellenbosch. And I've got no doubt in my mind the other universities will all follow, follow course because it is a very good textbook for those who are operating in the sustainability space. <laughs>